Guys, what's happening? Welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, I've got a great tip for you that's gonna help speed up your color grading workflow. It's something I use all the time, and it allows you just to get through your color grade a little bit quicker if you use similar types of settings all the time. It's kind of like creating a preset. You can go ahead and call it. It's like a preset. Let's jump in Resolve and check it out. We are in DaVinci Resolve right here. I've got a clip in my timeline, which happens to be the intro you saw to this video, and we're in the Color tab right down here, so make sure you're in the Color tab. Now, what we're gonna do is essentially create a grade and then we're gonna be able to save that so that we can use it in multiple projects. So the first thing you need to do is come on up here and create your grade. But uh, let's just say, for example, the way I do it here is I'll come in and I have a couple of nodes that I like to create in here. I usually make like four nodes. And then I do have a LUT that I use on uh, my Canon C100 Mark II clips. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna drop it on my last one. Now for me, this is a little bit heavy, so I like to tone it back a little bit. I'm gonna uh, come into my keyer here and I'm just gonna drop this to like 25%. Gonna go ahead and make the rest of my color grade here just with some real basic adjustments. Crank some of these guys up, gonna add in a little contrast. Nothing crazy here. My color grades are usually pretty, pretty basic. There's uh, not a whole lot to them. That looks pretty good. Another thing I like to do is just come in and grab a little power window here and make this a little bit bigger, kind of like this. And I like to invert that. And I just like to add a little vignette on there, right? So to do that, I just grab a curve, boom, pull that down a little bit. Might be a little heavy, something like that. And on the last note here, I just add just a touch of sharpening and the sharpening here, boom, done. So let's say I like that color grade. I'm good to go. I wanna use this on all of my clips that are this particular angle. Well, to save it, what I'm gonna do is actually close my LUTs up here. I'm gonna come and open up the gallery. And if we click on this little icon here, it's gonna open up our stills. So right here, you got stills. So what I wanna do is just hover my mouse over top of my clip. I'm gonna right click and say, grab still. Now this is like a preset that has all of these settings and nodes built into that still, right? So I can apply that to any clip that I want. Now, how do I make it a power grade so that it's available in all of my projects? Well, it's super easy. Really, it's just drag and drop, right? I can click on this still and drag and drop it into my power grades. And if I click on my power grades, we can see it's right here. I can right click on it. I can rename it if I'd like by going to change label right here. And you can call it whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna call it talking head for now, boom. So there we go. There is essentially my preset. And just as a side note, you can make multiple folders or albums here in the power grade. So that way, if you have different angles or different types of clips where you wanna have your presets or your, your save settings for, you can go ahead and organize it however you want. I just have a couple that I've used over the years uh, in this one folder because for me, most of the time, it's all you know one angle uh, or two angles, You know this angle and the one you saw in the beginning there. So I pretty much use the same one all the time, depending on my camera, my lens, and uh, you know my lighting that I have set up. So I'll save that and makes it real quick just to drop it onto you know a project. So for example, if I come over here and I just reset all these grades, all I have to do is have my power grades open and this will work in any project. Click on it, drag it, drop it over here and boom, there's all of my nodes that I saved as part of that power grade from that still. And now it's applied onto my clip and I can go in and make any adjustments or if you're good to go, you don't have to worry about it. You could just pop it on there and you're good to go. For me, most of the time I don't have to make changes because I use the same settings, the same situations, the same environment here in my studio. And it just makes it really quick and easy because I don't have to come up with a color grade for every single time that I go ahead and film a video. And bonus tip, if you didn't see my video about remote grades, I'm gonna link to that up here. You can check that out. That will allow you to apply a grade to a clip once and all of the cuts of that particular clip will have that same grade applied to it. Real quick and easy. That's an awesome tip that I use all the time as well. Speeding up your color grading workflow, there you go. Did you guys know this one? If you did, drop a comment and let me know. If you didn't, let me know that too. Hope you guys are liking Quick Tip Tuesday, hoping to bring them back and keep them going here. With that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, I pushed the lens in there. Ooh. That's pretty tight. That's a close shot right there. That's close. It's close. Hmm. Anyway, alrighty, that's it, that should be it, that should be good, okay.